Well, hello everybody. Hope you're having a good off season. I just wanted to um, go over some gear I used this past season. And one of those biggest things that we used this year was a Nemo sleeping bag. Down uh, 15 degree sleeping bag. Um, it has the six, uh, 650 fill down in it. Um, but I just wanted to go through that and the other sleeping bag I used. And then also my sleeping pad. But with the down bags, you know, you don't want to keep them down and compressed. But this bag does compress pretty small. Um, so we'll take this guy out. Alright. So as you can see, it's got the gills, the vented gills on the on both sides there that help with um, ventilation and stuff. Uh, if you need a little more air, it'll unzip all the way, let some air in. And if you didn't want them, you can zip them up, obviously. But this bag does fluff up pretty nice. Has a nice kind of silky material on the outside. Um, I'll show you. This is actually the extra long and tall one. So I will show you. I'll get in it and show you just about how it fits. I'm 6'1", about 180 pounds. So give you an idea. Has the foot box. Also, a little bit thicker material down here to keep your feet warm, and it's also a little bigger. You got room to move around. There's one vented gill, one closed gill. That also has this little flap where you can tuck that in underneath you to hold in warmth. Or if you're too hot or want to cover your face with it, it's kind of nice there. So to get an idea of the size, here is that long and uh, top in it. The only thing I really didn't like about it was it it's very roomy. Like has way more room than any down bag I've ever slept in. But Zipper is on the left side. Um, slide in this sucker. But, let's see. So there's that. You can see I have a lot of room to move. I mean, quite a bit. Um, if you move or you're a side sleeper, it's really nice for that. Um, but, anyways, yeah, it fits really well. I have plenty of room for my whole body, really. So, there's that. So I use this bag on my archery elk hunt in Montana. I used it all season after that on deer hunts uh, in Idaho on another elk hunt rifle tag but it was really a good bag um, didn't in elk season there was only I didn't ever get cold in elk season in September though so it's pretty warm and it was 15 degree I didn't get too hot either it was just about right for the weather we had and uh, so overall it's a great bag I just um, before I had this ordered and did not have a, uh, a sleeping bag when I went on my high country hunt for deer and so I just ended up picking up a bag from the store that was a mummy bag down bag but hadn't got a chance to use this until elk season so it was a great bag it compresses down nice I'll show you that so this is the Nemo Disco stuff sack um, comes with the bag and I will just show you how this guy fit in there has also hooks if you want to hang it um, just to keep it dry and keep that down so it's not compressed but so compressed down it's pretty small I mean, considering it's about a little bit bigger than my sleeping pad, but uh, compacts down pretty nicely. 
I think it was around three pounds. We can put the specs in the description. And you guys know how to use the internet if you're watching this, so you can look up specs. But um, anyways, I'd say great bag for early season hunts, um, into early rifle hunts, but uh, I would be a little careful getting a little colder. When it did get cold, I had a wool blanket I put over myself and uh, that kept it perfect. I think just that extra room that it has in there just allows you to get a little bit cold with the, um, without it or you can stuff it with your clothes for the next day, which is always good. But uh, yeah, all around decent bag um, for the money and I used it quite a bit, but that's it packed down. All right. So this year I did use the uh, Climate Insulated V, uh, Static V SL. Um, it was a great pad, big, um, was super comfortable. Uh, a lot of guys will go with smaller pads, but um, I definitely know that sleep is super important. Those backcountry hunts and this one worked great for me. Um, easy to inflate, easy to deflate, didn't leak on me. This is the Bishop Pass from Mountain Gear, Mountain Hardware. Um, yeah, 750 down, uh, zippers on the left, and it is a long bag as well. Um, we got lucky, they had a sale on them. I, don't, I can't remember exactly what I paid for, but it was less than the Disco. Um, this is a mummy bag though. So, pull this guy out. Kind of similar thing it had there with the bag. But, you can see this bag, it's a full mummy, and I'll show you crawling into this guy. Alright, so this is the long Mountain Hardware Bishop Pass 15 degree bag. You get an idea of size. Um, definitely needed the long for me. Um, zipper is on the left here. This also has the flap, very, a lot smaller one, which I kind of wish it had a little bigger flap there, but, you know, it'll work. But, get pretty good and closed in here. And that's the bag. A lot less room here, as you can see, to move around. Um, I am a side sleeper sometimes, but, um... I was able to sleep in this just fine. Has plenty of room for my feet, a little longer than I need, so that worked. So with the same down fill in this bag, and it being a mummy bag, I personally thought it was a little warmer than the Disco. Um, I used it on uh, Idaho uh, high country deer hunt. Um, worked great for me. I probably got warm that first night but you just unzip the bag and you're fine. But uh, yeah, this one probably I would trust a little more in a little bit colder weather. Um, I have a hard time pushing stuff past their limit or rating just on um, comfort because sleep's pretty important. But overall, it's a good bag um, for the money I paid for. I know it was, I got it on sale and stuff, but it was a good deal and just what I needed. And really, this one did not come with a stuff sack, but so I just bought one there, cheap one. and. I'll stuff this one down and you'll see how small this one gets. This is the bag it came with, but obviously it's not a stuff sack, so I got a real stuff sack for it. So there is the Mountain Gear Bishop Pass 15 degree bag in a stuff sack. This is actually an extra small stuff sack from Mountain Gear. Um, but for the price and everything, it worked out pretty good. And really a good bag if you don't mind, just a little bit less room. Um, I actually kind of preferred it um, over the Nemo. But uh, either bag will work good um, early season, 
in the early archery season. So, so here are both bags stuffed down together in their stuff sacks. The Nemo is a little bit bigger bag and it has a little bit bigger stuff sack and compressed size. I'd say they're about the same length there, but there definitely is this lot more material in this one. So obviously it's going to be a little, a little bit heavier and a little, little bit more room we're going to need for it. But overall, both good bags and uh, both would use again, probably will use again this coming season. And hopefully on some barrier hunts or shed hunts, we'll see. But please uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel, please. Um, definitely need some more subscribers, so let your friends know about the channel. We have some more shirts like this one coming, more hats. Um, we'll be getting those out too, so yeah. Thanks for watching.